So for this first question, we have to describe the movement of energy and nutrients in an ecosystem. And this is one of the topics which I definitely prefer not to do. But if you were to do this question, something that you always start off with is by defining the different terms. So for this case, the main term that you want to define is ecosystem. Um, all the other ones are relatively self uh, uh, self-reassuring and straightforward. So in regards to ecosystem, what is an ecosystem? So that's the first thing we have to talk about. So ecosystem is easy, it's a community as well as it's abiotic environment. So we're talking about living as well as non-living things. So that's the first thing that we have to do. Um, and within an ecosystem, we're talking about how thing, where the energy starts, where the nutrients start, and how it flows through and gets recycled ultimately at the end, specifically for nutrients. So let's talk about energy first though. And we should know, as one of the syllabus statements say, that the source of all energy in an ecosystem actually comes from light. So let's write that down here. So it's from the sun via photosynthesis. I mean, even in your head, you could draw something like this. You know, you could draw um, your plant here. And that, that's your primary producer, which is getting eaten by a, by a snail. And so this is the primary producer where the light energy goes into. And then after that, you have the transfer in it of energy from one trophic level to another. So the first is the primary producer, and the second is the primary consumer. So we have to talk about all aspects of this, including how it gets uh, developed, which is um, what we talked about. The primary producer goes through photosynthesis, the transfer of energy from one trophic level to another, as well as the recycling back, say, via um, decomposition, such as detritivores and saprotrophs. So, okay, so we've talked about the source of all energies from there, great. Now I need to talk about the transfer of energy from one to another. So this transfer of energy from, from primary producer to primary consumer, that is never 100% efficient due to loss of energy via heat, uh, or due to metabolism, etc. So we should state that. So uh, energy, energy transformation, or energy transfer is never 100% accurate, never 100% efficient. And this is due to a few reasons, due to um, energy lost as metabolism, as metabolism. Good. Okay, so we talked about um, the energy transfer, um, and now let's talk about um, the transfer of nutrients as well. So the transfer of nutrients, as we go from primary producer to primary consumer, we have to think about um, the energy being complex, uh, sorry, the nutrients being a complex form of nutrients, which gets assimilated into the, into the primary consumer. So nutrients are transferred via consumption of food. So that's a transfer, and how is it stored? Well, it's stored as complex nutrients. So nutrients stored as complex nutrients. Okay, so once it's been consumed, then it gets um, assimilated, and then it gets turned into complex nutrients. So now we're essentially at this primary consumer phase, and we have to talk about how the nutrients gets recycled, because remember how nutrients are recycled from, um, from the complex molecules, and they're broken down into simpler ones, and then get uh, put into back into the start as uh, primary producers, where via photosynthesis they get turned into glucose and other biomass. So what is the culprit that does this uh, that does this decomposition? Well, they're the saprophytes and detritivores. So 
So they break down the complex nutrients. And after they've broken down those complex nutrients, then one really simple thing that you can say is that these complex nutrients are broken down into simple nutrients, and that will get your mark as well. Great. So the final thing that we can say, which might seem really obvious to some people, but um, you can just say that this is a form of recycling or nutrient recycling. And then that caps off the answer as well. So we did jump around a little bit, but the bottom line is that firstly you want to define ecosystem and secondly you want to talk about energy and finally you want to talk about nutrients. And for this question, which is a medium question, you're looking for around about six to seven points. So let's see how many we've got. So we've got this first one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine different points there that should give us four marks. So the second question is um, also along the same lines, but this time we're talking about food chains and food webs and we have to, as we started off in the previous one, I think the best way is to define these key terms first off. So let's talk about what a food chain is. So a food chain, the diagram which shows the transfer of energy from one trophic level to another. And because it's talking about describing what it is, and the best way to illustrate that you know what a food chain is, is to draw a diagram. So let's draw a diagram here. So we're gonna draw some spiky grass here. And then what that goes to, that might get eaten by a snail. Um, and then that will get eaten by a, um, a bird or a crow. So remember that you have to name all these different uh, these different primary consumers and pr producers as well. So the point is that you have to talk. There has to be an initial um, primary pr producer, which we're going to label now. So primary producer which is the grass, as well as a primary consumer, as well as a secondary consumer. And on the inverse side, we've, uh, we can talk about a food web as well, so a food web. So what do we do every time that there's a term there? We want to define it. So a food web is the interaction of several food chains. And in short for this one, essentially you want to uh, just show that you know what a food web is. And the best way to do that is, I'm not going to draw this out completely, but you want to draw um, a primary producer here. But you, not only do you want to draw one, you want to draw several. Because you have to show that they're interconnecting, they're a web of uh, different uh, food chains. So primary producer, we have a primary producer there. And then you also might have a um, primary consumer here. And you might also have a secondary consumer here too. Obviously you can't write secondary consumer, you have to write specific examples of what you put down. And finally you could even have at the bottom here, with all these uh, primary consumers they could be getting recycled into, um, into the component nutrients by um, your saprophytes and detritivores again. So this could be say mushrooms or moss or fungus.
Okay. So this is a medium question as well, and I think it's kind of difficult to mark this question, but you definitely get a mark first off for um, defining what a food chain and a food web is. And afterwards, you need to have a, a thorough example, a named example of um, what a food chain and a food web is as well. So firstly, you talk about the primary producers, uh, your consumers, primary and secondary. And then for the bottom, you'd have a variety of different marks. I believe a, a, one of the marks that you'd get is for um, saying that there are multiple producers. So you might have half a mark here if you did one and half a mark if you did another. And you'd have um, arrow, you'd, ha you'd get marks for interconnecting consumers with the different producers. So say for this, for example, this producer is getting consumed by both this primary consumer as well as this primary consumer. So you just have to show the complex nature of the food web as well. And that's how you get the marks for that question. So it's kind of difficult to mark and difficult to show you how to do, but um, here's one way approach to do it. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.